come to draw academy where learning becomes much much easier in this video i'll be showing you all you need to know about sets the basics of sets the fundamental sets and then we go right to solving past questions let's get right started Talking about fundamental terminologies used in sets you know maths is a language and in sets we have different languages using sets and that's what we're doing right now we have universal sets now this is a set that contains all elements and it is represented as this this is the symbol used to represent it so if you have a universal set all numbers from 1 to 10 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are all the elements contained it is all, all the elements all always contained in a universal set the next we move to subsets subsets this um, this is a set gotten from the universal set so if i pick some element from this universal set from 1 to 10 and i form a set with it it becomes a subset of the universal set so let's say we have a subset a and we have 3 5 9 10. if we look at subset a this all the elements in set a are derived from the universal set so we can say a is a subset of this of the universal set it will pick a set b and we have 7 3 11. looking at this set we have 7 in here we have 3 in here but we do not have 11 here so we can say b is not a subset of the universal set so these are basic terms we use in set theory so we'll move on to power set power set has the formula 2 raised power of n so now we look at all the elements if they say find the power set of a we look at all the elements in set a that will be our n the number of elements in the set is our n so now find the power set of a we count all the elements in set a 1 2 3 4 and then our power the power set becomes 2 raised to the power of 4 and 2 raised to the power of 4 is what 64 then we're asked to find the power set of the universal set we count all the elements 1 to down to 10 the power set becomes 2 raised to the power of n n is the number of elements 2 raised to the power of 10 which is equal to 1024 so this is what happens when they tell you to calculate the power set next we'll move over to solving questions we'll be asked to find the union the intercept power set the complement or prime of a particular set and then we'll also learn how to interpret and evaluate set elements we have um, the universal set to be x is greater than one less than 10 so interpreting it we we'll have the universal set equal to now we use a coily bracket in, in set we do not use this type of brackets neither do we use this type of bracket they are not accepted we only make use of coily bracket so now our universal set x must be greater than one it means we we'll have values from two upward now if the second condition is x must be less than 10 it means we will not have 10 as part of the element of the universal set so we have two three four five six seven eight nine moving to p a p we write our coily bracket x is greater or equal to three it means that in this um, set we could find three because we have been given a condition equal to so it starts with three then looking at the second condition that will guide us through is x is less than seven it means in this set we will not find any elements that is seven or above it must be less than seven so we have three four five six this is where it stops for p and then for q it says x is greater than two but x is less than nine so we will not have to we'll have things greater than two which is starting from three then our elements will be also less than nine so we we'll have three four five six seven eight so we um, have succeeded in interpreting this um, set and expanding them to a simpler term. So the first thing we are being asked to do is find P intersection Q. Now what does intersection mean? We are asked to find the intersection between P and Q. So we look at the elements in P and Q. What element is in P and is also in Q? That's what 
intersection mean? Where do P and Q intersect? So we have three, four, five, six. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have three in P and also in Q. Four, five, and six. So P intersection Q will be three, four, five, six. Remember a curly bracket. What the element in P that is, you can also find in Q. It's as simple as that. The next is P union Q. Now, what this means is you carry all the elements in P and take all the elements in Q and put them in one set. But what you need to be mindful of is that if you find two elements that are the same in P and Q, you just take one of the elements. So let's go. We have three in P, of course. We have three in P. It does not mean we put three comma three no we we'll just put one three just one of the elements we have four we we'll put four we have five we have six we have seven and eight so find every element in p in this set you must find every element in q in this set the next um thing we'll be asked to do is to find p complement p complement it can also be called p prime now what p complement is look at your universal set this anything that is in the universal set that is not in p that is p complement so we have three here we cancel it out we have four here cancel it out five cancel we have six so pick the elements that are in the universal set that are not in, that are not in p so it becomes two seven eight and nine so this p complement or p prime don't allow it to confuse you then the next one is q complement so look um for what is in the universal set that is not in q so we have three four five six seven eight three four five six seven eight so um what is left is two and nine two comma nine so we write it out this are um q complement or q prime the last but not the least is the power set of the universal set remember the power set is giving us two raised power of n let's count the universal set the number of elements in the universal set one two three four five six seven eight it means the power set will be two raised power of eight and two raised power of eight is equal to 256 so this is the power set of the universal set and these are many more you learn on this channel if you are yet to subscribe make sure you click on the subscription button and on the notification bell to get notified each time we post the content in our next video we'll be solving um done um intersection union complement power sets we've talked about universal set basic um terminologies in sets we've talked about subsets in our next video we'll be talking about vein diagram we're telling um, we'll be solving questions on vein diagram so make sure you subscribe and i'm sure a lot of your of, of your friends a lot of your classmates they need to watch this video make sure you share it to your friends thanks for watching bye for now